Welcome to Vitrox here at Prodotronica. I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Fami Elmi. Uh, nice to see you, Fami. Nice to meet you also, Trevor. Okay. Uh, it's been a while, many years not uh, joining our, the show here after the COVID, so on and so forth. And yeah. thank you for your uh, time to have me in your interview yeah. today. Yeah, no worries. It's nice yeah. to see everything coming back to normal, isn't it, after COVID? Yes. Uh, obviously, this is the biggest show in the world, so everybody yeah. shows their latest equipment. Yes. Um, so tell me what's new on the Vitrox booth. Okay, uh, today we have our uh, ultimate uh, machine here, this uh, V9 for the uh, finding inspection. We call that a V9i. Okay. So this machine is mainly to uh, do the uh, finding inspection, uh, also the uh, conformal coating inspection. Right. You know? uh, on top of that, there's uh, a lot of application that we can do on the system, basically like uh, the box bin inspection for the cosmetic. Right? Mm -hmm. And then um, the idea of having this machine is basically to help all these uh, customer to make it much more easier for them to use with uh, program development and uh, more user friendly right now because most of the customer they are talking about how to make it much more faster in a way that to uh, release the program to the uh, production right right well it's certainly a very versatile machine but as you said it, it's, it's it's primary uses for conformal coding measurement uh -huh. in, initially yeah. um, and it can measure conformal coatings at any part of the board uh, yes, yes. We can also inspect the uh, thickness of the conformal coating before it go to the uh, curing process and also yes. after the curing process. Uh, on top of that, we can also check the uh, absent presence of the uh, conformal coating on the on top of the component itself. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, the best part is that uh, if let's say there is not enough area covered by the uh, coating, then we can call that as uh, part of the defect. You can pull it and do it again, or you can you can top it up with a. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Uh, so the other the other thing you mentioned there, of course, was in the box build, where uh, it's a very the box build is still a very manual area, yeah. uh, but the need for inspection to look for in the final product that screws are not missing or oh, yes. cracks in 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 the in the housing and that type of thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, we have that uh, uh, customized uh, development uh, software to handle that part to check all the screw crack mm -hmm. and. Uh, Labeling, you know, and right. all this thing. Even on the OCR, uh, OCR, OCV, we can do mm -hmm. by using our V9i. Right, mm -hmm. and 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 this all works on the V1 software. Uh, yeah. So, but is that common through all your systems, through your inspection systems, through your X-ray systems, uh, yes. etc. Yeah? yeah, yeah. So uh, that is the advantages on uh, by having our own software, right? Mm -hmm. Because we can connect all of our system together to collect all the information, the, uh, to put it inside our database. By having said that, we can always track the performance of the machine, mm -hmm. like the force score, because right now we're having a very good force score in our SPI AOI and also our X-ray. And uh, by having said that, it also helps the uh, user to monitor and uh, probably there's, uh, on some cases, there's a lot of these uh, uh, high force score shootout for no reason. Right. So they can always do using our V1 to remote in to mm -hmm. the system without uh, attended to the machine itself. Right, yeah. right, I see. Okay, but well, we're going to talk a bit later about the software uh, because uh, I, want to, I want to come on to that. Uh, sticking with the machines, you're, you're showing your SPI here, yeah. uh, I think for the first time. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the first time we are bringing it here. We made the uh, uh, introduction of our machine many years ago. Mm -hmm. I guess before the COVID. So unfortunately, because of that, uh, you know, incident yeah, with yeah. this uh, pandemic, we couldn't bring it here. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the moment, we've been uh, uh, demonstrate to a lot of our customer, all key uh, corporate customer, and uh, some of them start to use our SPI already because we make a lot of improvement on them, especially how to make the uh, programming method much right. more easier. Easier, yeah, right. Much more right. easier to them, user-friendly. Right. and. Uh, we are implementing and introducing the uh, AI programming as well for our S oh, sorry, SPI, the uh, AOI, and uh, our X3. And your X3, yeah. okay. Um, so, finishing on the machines, though, yeah. you, you've got a, a new X-ray platform as well that you're showing today. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So, the new thing on our X-ray is mainly on uh, how to improve the, the image the construction, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot of challenges when uh, we are seeing this uh, small component and also the uh, highly shaded component, you know? Uh, many years ago, we are seeing this as uh, one of the challenges, but now we improve a lot. Uh, we also uh, improve in terms of the hardware by changing the camera itself, 
Mm -hmm. uh, and then by having said that, we have a lot of uh, room of improvement to make the image looks better. Uh, right, right. And uh, for the automotive customer that we have right now, um, they are quite happy with the, with the performance. And then uh, the programming development is much more easier. Whenever we uh, introduce the AI, it makes right. them more uh, happy to use them further, you know. And then uh, the way how we can make them uh, similar to how the uh, normal human being doing the program. Right. Yeah. So, so that's the bit I want to come on to. I mean, you're using AI uh, to to uh, to do the um, programming and setup time, uh, yeah. reduce the setup time, basically. Yes. Uh, and it, it really helps quite a bit. Uh, so that uh, when a new job gets comes in, it can be set up quickly and and it can start inspection. Yeah. Normally, it, without having this AI, it took. Uh, three to four hours typically to, to complete the program. Mm -hmm. But right now with the, with the AI, the uh, golden library that we are uh, uh, having inside our system, it cuts short the uh, programming time to be more, uh, lesser than that, you know? One to right. two hours we can do that. Because we are having so much customer having this uh, um, high volume, low mix, and all this kind of uh, yeah, things, yeah. right? So yeah, we have to adapt with the situation. Right. And, uh, the new, uh, component introduction by the customer as well is uh, taking a lot right, of uh, right. effective but you, way. You've got, but you've got a pretty heavy weight library there that you can yes, pull from anyway. Yes, yeah. Yes. So the other thing that I believe you're doing with AI though is, is uh -huh. you're you're using it as a tool to to virtually assist the operator. Yes. In other words, you're tracking uh, the operator's performance on making good calls yes. over a period of time, mm -hmm. and then automating that in the AI process so yeah. that the operator can then concentrate on other areas yes. uh, that, that are of more concern. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, we're also using our image set. So, mm. Because in our system, everything that produced by the machine itself is basically having their own uh, measurement information or some database that we can make use of them. Mm -hmm. So besides uh, of having the operator to, uh, you know, doing it things uh, over time. We can also use the measurement uh, information inside our uh, resort file, for example. Right. And we can take that to relearn, to make sure that uh, this, is, uh, this AI works very well. Okay, yeah. okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, well that's uh, quite a lot to, 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 to show in one week. So There's uh, a lot. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, we have a very good crowd. Yes. Yes. Getting busy. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, I could see that just while we've been here. It's been very busy around the, the outside of the booth here. So uh, I'll, I'll let you get back to your customers, family, but I want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Teru, for your time, and okay. uh, good to see you. Okay, thank you.